relief apparently in sight. More and more drivers figuring out how to save money any way they can, maybe even changing what they drive. And in Denver and the Front Range areas, that could come in the form of a motor scooter. Adam Baker, the co-owner of Sportique Scooters on Paco Street downtown. Hi, Adam. Morning, Tom. Well, let's talk about this. Have gas prices caused a sales spike in the scooter biz? They have. They have. Those big SUVs are pretty tough on the wallet, I hear. No, they, they certainly can be. Well, let's first talk about the miles per gallon you're going to get on a scooter. I imagine it's somewhat astronomical compared it's, to an SUV. It's amazing. You can do about 70 to 100 miles to the gallon. We've got one model coming out at the end of the month that supposedly will do about 140 miles to the gallon, still carry two people. Okay, yeah. How, how fast is this going to get us around? Well, there's kind of two different kinds of scooters. There's 50cc and above 50cc. The below 50cc, you can ride two people on. They'll do about 45 miles an hour. Um, and they can park legally at bike racks. You don't need a motorcycle driver's license for them. So they do just great. They're awesome for around town. I was going to say, they're, they're good for around town. But if your commute is over, you know, five or ten miles, are you starting to stretch it a little bit with the scooter? Well, not really. They make them up to 500 cc's, which will do almost 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Now, when so, does that become a scooter, go from a motor scooter to a motorcycle? Well, I kind of like to say that motorcycles are made for high-speed cornering and scooters are for everything else. <laughs> uh, they actually have great brakes, they have really performance engines, and they'll still do anywhere from 50 to 70 miles to the gallon, even at 500 cc's. Okay, you don't need a motorcycle license, but you have to have some skill to handle a motorcycle. How much skill do you have to have to handle a motor scooter? Well, it's a little bit easier. You have an automatic transmission. And so you don't need to learn all the gearing. It's pretty much like a heavy bicycle. So right. almost anybody can learn how to ride them. Okay, now uh, how safe are these things? They're actually quite safe. Because you're not reaching the speeds and don't have the capability to reach speeds that create danger, uh, they actually do incredibly well. Uh, is there a helmet law? There is not a helmet law in Colorado, but I highly suggest you wear one, even if you're on a bicycle. Now, even if you're good on a motorcycle or a motor scooter, you certainly are uh, uh, kind of at the whim of other drivers with big vehicles around you. As, as far as that side of safety, I mean, how do people uh, feel as far as the comfort level and working in traffic with these things? Well, you're actually, uh, you're actually a little better off than a bicycle because you're actually traveling in the flow of traffic. And so the danger level is greatly reduced because you're not coming into blind intersections. Let's talk a little bit about the technical aspects of licensing the scooters and, and as far as insurance as well. All right. Um, the uh, insurance is usually going to run you anywhere from 100 to about 250 bucks a year, not a month. And they'll, they'll, uh, they'll, they're registered with a sticker, which lasts you five years. It costs five dozen 25 cents. That's what allows you to park at the bike racks. Now, I always see people like on bike to work day, and it's usually a wonderful morning when people go into bike to work, and then they go home, and then maybe we got one of those afternoon uh, rain showers. How, how do these function on the wet roads, or if you get in a little bit of a, you know? you run into one of those Colorado thunderstorms? Well, I wouldn't ride in the ice, but actually they do just fine in the rain. Um, they're, they're just like a bicycle. You have to treat them with a little bit more respect, but you, you can drive pretty much all year round in Colorado because we have such beautiful weather. All right, that's all the tech talk. They're fun and people like them, right? Yeah, I actually have something to show you if you don't uh -oh. mind. Uh-oh, real quick. Yeah, check this out. I was thinking of Angie when, uh, when we uh, got this sidecar. I thought, uh, you know, she's got somebody on the way, so. Uh, hopefully he won't be as ugly as this one, but we'll see. Uh, is he going to move for Angie? Have to get him out. Yeah, we'll, we'll move him. <laughs> hey, thanks so much. It's good to see you. All right. Thank you, Tom. Adam Baker joining us from Sportique Scooters. What do you think, Angie? You like the sidecar? That's pretty cool. You that jump in over really there? Cool. Would you ride that? Would I ride it? Sure. I don't know. I'm kind of a chicken when it comes to stuff like that. You? I am. Come on.